Sapa Isakov, thank you very much for talking to TRT World. Uh, first of all, could I ask you, do you think Kyrgyzstan has a problem with Daesh? Indeed, we have this problem like other countries in the region. It's a very serious issue. We particularly have a situation where the citizens of Kyrgyzstan, especially from southern areas, are leaving the country to fight. Why are people leaving Kyrgyzstan to go and fight in Iraq and Syria with Daesh? There are, of course, many causes of this. It's a global issue. There are social reasons for people leaving. Another is the incorrect interpretation of Islam, and all of it together is leading to this situation. What is the government doing to try to stop them? I would like to point out here the initiative of President Atambayev, when for the first time in the history of the country, he adopted a government policy or concept on religious and ethnic affairs. This concept or strategy was widely discussed in society and among religious leaders. The main point, first of all, is education and education of religious leaders providing the correct interpretation of the Quran because 90% of the population in Kyrgyzstan are Muslims. Another point is also to provide freedom to practice different types of religion in Kyrgyzstan, so the government meets the demand for these kinds of practices. Another issue that I wanted to point out is there have been several tragic incidents in Kyrgyzstan, especially in the south. The last time it happened was in 2010. They are what we call the June events, when there were ethnic clashes between the Uzbek and Kyrgyz ethnic groups living there. Unfortunately, previously when these clashes have happened, the authorities in Kyrgyzstan didn't do anything to prevent them. When it happened last time in June 2010, the Kyrgyz government and the president undertook a lot of measures and activities to prevent such things from happening in the future. These were put together under our religious and ethnic policy, and on a daily basis there are measures and activities taking place to prevent such things in the future. Some people say it's also caused by poverty and lack of education. What is the government doing about that? Here I would like to point out one thing. There is a president's initiative called the Imam Fund. It consists of non-budgetary funding. The fund is provided to educate Imams to improve their capacity. We want moderate Islam to take place in Kyrgyzstan because there are wrong interpretations of some things. For example, in terms of jihad, the Quran says that jihad is actually a struggle within yourself. It does not mean that you have to go and blow up people or you have to judge people. The Quran says that if you kill one person, you are killing the whole world. So there are some very important messages to be delivered to people. Here we are adopting the Turkish experience. We think it's the right way to deal with religion and we are continuing on this path. The Kyrgyz president has talked a lot about people's dress, whether Islamic dress is appropriate in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, does he believe this is connected to the people who go away and fight for Daesh? The main message of the president was that Kyrgyzstan should not forget its own history or culture. We have lived here for many centuries. We have our own history and culture. We can't adopt someone else's traditions. For example, the Kyrgyz people never wore clothes that closed their faces or wore black dress. We respect the culture of other people, but at the same time, he is calling on the Kyrgyz people to not forget their own culture. After the failed coup attempt in Turkey earlier this year, there was a lot of concern about Fethullah Gulen and the people associated with him and his movement the schools they operate, the companies they operate. Now, there are some schools in Kyrgyzstan that are reported to be linked to his movement. Turkey has asked Kyrgyzstan to close those schools. I understand the government has refused. What do you say to that? I want to point out that after this event, the coup attempt, Kyrgyzstan was the very first country to condemn it, and the president, very early in the morning, 
was the first to send a message condemning the coup attempt in Turkey. This declaration was not made by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, but by the president personally. The second point is these schools were created at the same time as similar schools in other countries in the region that are still operating. So we were very surprised when the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Turkey singled out Kyrgyzstan. We were very upset about it. Nevertheless, Kyrgyzstan never refused the request from the Turkish side. Actually, the president ordered that all the schools that operate here be closely checked. So the process is ongoing. We take into very serious consideration the strategic partnership between our countries, especially the good relations between the leaders. So right now, work on these schools is being closely analyzed and monitored. Actually, these schools are operating in accordance with the law in the Kyrgyz Republic. There are no grounds, nothing illegal happening here, but still, taking into consideration the special relations between Turkey and our country, the president gave a special order to check the status of these schools, and we will probably learn the findings soon. In the same way as Turkey, do you feel threatened that members of the Gulen network could infiltrate the government, the civil service, and uh, the judiciary? We are very closely studying the situation after signals from our Turkish partners. So far, I cannot say there are destructive forces in our system, but nevertheless, we are analyzing the issue. Do you think this issue will become something that could threaten or affect the relations between Turkey and Kyrgyzstan? I don't think there are reasons to believe this will influence the future relationship of our countries. They are connected by many years of brotherhood, friendship and close cooperation. There is friendship and a large amount of mutual respect between the leaders of our countries. There are many aspects that connect our countries. For example, we have many flights connecting Turkey with Bishkek and Osh. We are members of the same regional organizations. I don't think there are any reasons to worry that relations will not be good.